All right, so we've got our bin fully patched. Now it's time to download Tuner Pro. We're gonna go to tunerpro.net, uh, downloads, applications, and we're going to download the latest free version of that. Open it up and run the file. Yep. Go ahead and just follow the instructions, install it wherever you want. Just doing all the default stuff. All right, and it's gonna prompt you to restart the computer. All right, so I'm gonna give just a very brief introduction to Tuner Pro here. So we're gonna go ahead and launch it. And the very first time you launch it, for whatever reason, even though I uninstalled and reinstalled it for the purpose of this demonstration, it still pulls up the last bin that I opened. So we're gonna to go to open bin and we're gonna select that version zero that we just built or that we just patched. Click open, we're gonna click XDF and we're gonna choose select XDF. And we can choose from any one of these we want, but we're gonna use this full bin one because that one has pretty much everything we need and nothing that we don't really. So with this, you're gonna have, if it starts out with this ordered list, um, that's a big pain in the ass to read. You're gonna to wanna to change this uh, view by to parameter category to make things much easier to find. And Tuner Pro tends to be pretty slow and I have a feeling running it in a virtual machine, it's not any better for me. So let's start out. We'll do a couple simple things just to kind of get used to how Tuner Pro works. So we'll go up to compare. Um, we can load some compare bins. So this is going to come in very much handy. Um, and actually before we do this, we're going to do file save bin as, and before we edit anything, we're going to save it as V01001. And we are going to make a couple quick changes. So let's, you can use control F to do searches. So let's look for coolant. Uh, and I'm going to look for it, not in the description, but in the title. All right, so, uh, so let do CHT for coolant head temperature desired speed dependent. So this is where you can change the commanded water pump, uh, or I guess thermostat commanded temperature. So we can take all of these, and you can use shift and arrow keys to select multiple, or you can drag it with the mouse. And I'm just going to type in 80. We're going to do 80 degrees across the board. This is what I do for my track tunes. I would not do this for like a street tune specifically. Um, getting up to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit is probably a pretty good idea. Um, you know, setting this at like 95 Celsius or so would probably be about right. But uh, whatever, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And we're also going to change the cylinder head temperature desired and I'm going to do the same thing here we're going to let's change this to 80 across the board um, and actually I'm going to go ahead and for these some of these lower rpms we'll set those to eh, I don't know 90 let it get a little bit warmer all right and we'll save that uh, from my understanding these tables generally take the lower value of whatever you type in. So that's something to be aware of. You can also change the axis, uh, but you need to be aware that if you change the axis here, it could change the axis in other tables as well. So I don't know that that's the case here, but I'm not worried about it because this is set up going to be for a track tune. All right, and let's do one other thing. Let's find the speed limiter so there's four tables for that for whatever reason the stock speed limiter is 124 miles an hour or 200 kilometers per hour so we'll just bump that up to like 300 because that's probably faster than i'll ever be going and save that same thing there and there and there and you have to click save to commit the changes each time, just a heads up. 
And if you ever run into anything funny, it's not a bad idea to double check and make sure that it did indeed save. We might run into that later when editing a few different tables, but for now, um, we can use the compare tool and we can compare it against our version zero, which I already loaded it. So we'll go to the difference tool and we can, we're gonna limit to just the defined items and search and it pulls up all of the things that are different from for every individual cell from one uh, from one calibration to the next so this can come in handy especially if you want to compare like R versus GTI stuff using this difference tool does sometimes crash tuner pro for me so it can kind of be a pain in the ass so just a heads up I would not use it if you have the all XDF because um, it tends to not do very well with that so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this bin. So we made the speed changes and cylinder head temp changes. And if we open up the file explorer, you will find that we have a v001.bin uh, and we also have a text document. If we open up that text document, it shows you the changes that those tables were edited and the you know on a timestamp as well. So this can come in handy, and this is why I try to be as organized as I am from one change to the next. So um, that can be very useful. Um, and I typically, after I have so many changes, I'll start dumping things into archive to keep them, but just keep them out of this working folder here. So next time we're going to start uh, getting into the tables for you know upping the boost and extending airflow tables and all the other fun stuff. If you want to get a head start, then, I mean, it's basically going to be right out of this ECU basics guide. It's going to be with a few things that I do specifically myself, but by and large, it's, you can start this yourself. There's nothing keeping you from doing that. Um, as a reminder, everything that we've done up to now, you don't even need to have CMOS tools or anything. So you can play around with these files. You can play around with Tuner Pro you can, you know, kind of get a feel for what it might be to, you know, edit the files and whatnot. It's it's a lot of things to go through, but uh, with some time and just a little bit of focus, you can get there.